Hi, I'm Hannah Gill, and this is Brad Hammonds. We are Hannah Gill and the Hours, and we're on A-Sides. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey. Uh, that sounded awesome. Thank you so much. I'm a much. Jeff Buckley fan, so it, it takes a lot of cajones to do a Jeff Buckley cover. No, we, have, we have plenty. You know? Very scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when we decided to do it, yeah. like, we better do it justice, because it's Jeff Buckley. I yeah. also like that you don't just do Hallelujah, which is what everyone does, which is not even his song, but yeah. anyway, people tend to cover his version of the cover. So, um, so why, I guess? So why? Yeah, like, why tackle that? <sighs> just because I love Jeff Buckley. You grew up with the album, so did I, and... First time I, first time I heard Jeff Buckley, I was, I drank whiskey, uh, and I put it on Grace, and I was like, what is this, yeah. right? Like, yeah. and I remember I woke up the next day with like this legible love letter to my girlfriend at the time, and um, I blame Jeff Buckley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not the Jeff Buckley. But, um, <laughs> but when when we when we were um, tossing around ideas for covers, I was like, hmm, maybe, yeah. maybe tackle Buckley. See what happens. Well, let me ask you something. So you guys just put out an EP, right? I mean, how do you decide how much is you know how many covers is too many covers when you're performing live? Well, you know we try and keep it under three you know just because like we we um released a song a while back called i feel awake and we like to match that up with Niles barkley's crazy mm -hmm. that way you know i guess because we we're opening for a lot of bands right now so you know sometimes people people always listen and i think people enjoy it but it's also i know when i'm watching an opener if if i'm watching an opener if they do a cover it kind of piques my interest because I hear something I know and I recognize so right. I think doing mashups like that or we do uh, St. James Infirmary you know throw in a few jazz mm -hmm. standards just to kind of I don't know connect with the listener more if they didn't necessarily come to see us you know? so for this next question do you do you mind if I use your mic because Go for I've it. always I've always wanted to use this mic hey everyone loves this not shirt. this you know not this specific mic that, that I've always mic. wanted yeah. to use your mic. Yeah. Yeah. Is this it's even on? I think it's on. Yeah, I think it's on. It's yeah. on. Sounds like it. Is this on? Yeah, yeah. that's right. There you it's go. Awesome. Yeah. Hold it upside like, down, I, do a I, WWE. Yeah, style. but I feel like like more like an old school NBC broadcaster. Yeah. You look like, like one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel yeah. like one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is Actually, perfect. CBS. I feel like an old CBS. Very, very, very CBS. Very big difference. Um, so there is a little like jazz inflection, right? To a lot of your your music. Which, by the way, you guys sounded great. Thank you. Um, if I didn't say that, should have started with that. Like you guys sounded. Thank you. Say it as many times as. Like your as voice you want. is just crazy. It almost matches my range. Um, <laughs> yeah. Almost, I get John, beat a few more years of experience. All yeah. of those you years. Opened, you opened the show, and I was blown away by your your um, what is it six octaves? Please. Yeah. No, please. I, mean, I think it's six and a half. Six please, and a half octaves. Please, please yeah. continue yeah. talking about me. It was mind blowing. I didn't realize. I this this jokes down. on you. We're interviewing right, on, you yeah. today. Can I do Darth Vader? Yes, Can please. You? So that's like that's like my four year old doing Darth Vader. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's basically just like. Yeah. He or she? He, your four-year-old. Yeah. He put much better than you. Yeah. It's because he's got seven octaves. That's why. The kid. I do. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, thanks for babysitting yesterday. Yeah, so, you're welcome. <laughs> no, so, so um, talk to me a little bit about your background. I know that there's a little bit of, of jazz stuff going on. I know your background specifically, you know, jazz guitar. Yeah. Um, Talk to me about the evolution, because when we did our first A sides, it was just you, That's and true. then you brought on the hours. Yeah. And I thought it was just going to be you and a DVD copy of that terrible movie, The Hours. So this oh, is really, you know, next really time, disappointing. Next time. Really disappointing. Yeah, I'll it's bring a you terrible, the merchandise. Terrible movie. <laughs> I love terribly, that. I, it's it's so terribly funny. long. I loved it with Nicole Kidman as yeah. Uh, yeah well, that's just walk. a design. Function. Terribly <laughs> long. I, ooh, yeah. I mean, we're going to agree to disagree. I'm that. glad they called it The Hours because it sucked it's, about six of my hours of my life. That you'll never oh, get back. I enjoyed yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I review movies like eight years <laughs> Hi, after nice they come out. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. 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 that movie, The yeah. Hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicole? Uh, yes. <laughs> but, no, but seriously, talk to me about, you know, the evolution of your sound and, you know, why you added the yeah, hours yeah. to the whole thing. Well, we met, actually, um, I'll give you the, the whole long and boring backstory, uh, but... I'll provide some music accompaniment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just cut, splice, edit. Yeah. Just make it seem like I'm not as boring as I actually am. <laughs> but, uh, but no, we, uh, I, when I was in middle school, I did a talent show. 
and I had just transferred to the school and no one knew me, so I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Lo and behold, I win the talent show. I played, like, the crappiest version of Misery by Maroon 5 on the ukulele, mm -hmm. but I was so proud of myself, and my dad had a huge proud dad moment and took the video and showed it to everybody that he worked with at the YMCA, and Brad's father was on the board, and he kind of brought it up after the meeting and was like, hey, my... My son has a recording studio up in New York City. Do you want to take Hannah up kind of as a birthday present to record a few songs, you know, just so she can, you know, know what it feels like. So my dad was like, oh, she's a little young. Let me put it off a few years. And I went up for my 16th birthday and we saw a Ben Howard concert in Central Park. And then I went and I just recorded two cover songs. And it was funny because when I first walked in, uh, it was, you could tell he was doing a favor for his father. Like, he was not excited to be there. They do this often. <laughs> it's, it's, um, right. it's fun. It's fun right. in the sense where you get, um, I don't get many 16 year olds um, coming in, um, but, you know, um, I do a lot of favors and, and singers or, or, or musicians will come in and you tune them up and then you send them on their way with this great sounding, oh, I can sing and send it to their friends. So that's sort of what I was assuming with this. And she came in. And um, my studio partner and I sort of um, dropped our jaws and we're, we're like, oh, you can sing. Like, wow. Like, uh, you gotta come back. Um, yeah. So we recorded a couple songs and quickly um, Hannah came back up and her dad's super supportive so he would, he would drive Hannah up and from, from Maryland, which was about yeah. four and a half hours away, we would do, do shows and then she would drive back for high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was always the, um, my dad was very supportive when it came to getting me to New York, but his one rule was I couldn't, I, he would, he'd take me to any show I needed, but I just couldn't miss any school. Okay. So there would be times, you know, because when you start off, we were playing like crappy, like 5 p.m. sets on a Wednesday, and I would get out of school at like 2 o'clock, drive all the way there, play for 30 minutes, and then get back home at 1, and then have to wake up at 6 in the morning to go to school. Go to school yeah. So, I mean, it was okay though, because I knew what I was doing was way cooler than any of my other friends. But I would do our homework for her too, and so that was impossible. Kenny. That's that's why I failed the the twelfth grade. Kenny, no, I just. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like there's, three, three, there's like, there's like, like a three year like, like they could like yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they could like strip her of her diploma. That's that's what we want. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you gotta get your GED. Not there's anything. Wrong. Sorry, tour's canceled. Yeah. I've got to yeah. go and get so my GED. Gotta go back to school. But I mean, did you always, I mean, this is such a lame cliche question, but like anytime someone, you know, with a completely distinct, uh, let me back that up. Remember you want to flip it out and reverse it? Is that what you Scratch it Oh, see, I was thinking of um, uh, Gene Wilder, like strike the... No, no, no. I was quoting Missy Elliott and failed miserably. It's your first like, like, like every middle-aged man probably yeah. does. So but um, no, so, so, I mean, did you know or did your, you know, parents or whoever know friends like how different and distinct your voice is because I mean mm -hmm. it shouldn't be coming out of you you know what I'm saying yeah. like most people not at your age but just in general don't have um, you know a voice that stands out well, thank you even on the radio right now <laughs> let's turn it on and listen to the same song oh, by a different artists you know as much as I'd love to I'm gonna take a pass but uh, okay. um I mean, if they did, they didn't tell me. My mom loves to tell this story when I was in kindergarten. You know, you did the Christmas concerts, and I got a solo for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And she said it was the most soulful rendition of Rudolph the wow. Red-Nosed Reindeer she heard from a kindergartner. And she loves to say, since then, she knew I was going to go and do and music. By the way, she's heard a lot of kindergartners yes, perform yeah, that part. Definitely. So let's not she goes to a lot of kindergarten concerts. Let's not discount. Who hasn't? Who hasn't? Let, right, but yeah. let's not discount, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. What yeah. you say? Yeah, it's, it's very, very harsh out there. Kindergarten is, kindergarten kids are just punching each other in the face, trying to get the school. That doesn't happen. That's never happened. You didn't go to. You didn't live in Eastern Maryland. <laughs> yeah, you live in a very quiet town. Maryland, yeah, yeah. where nothing goes wrong. Well. Six of two. Just like Wayward yeah. Pines over yeah. there, you know. But. But yeah, so I mean, basically, um, but but there was always like a musical influence, yes. right? And I mean, did you? Always know where you're gonna pursue music, or I, anything in college. The hell with it. Yeah, you know, I knew I, I knew I definitely wanted to do music, and in fact, I was before I met Brad. My plan was to either go to school in New Orleans or College of Charleston, and I was gonna major in music education, and like I was 100% satisfied with that. I love I, born down south. I lived down in Texas for a while, so I was just I was like totally okay with it. And then 
when I met him and when I started actually coming up to the city and performing and I realized that I could actually make music and not like be homeless <laughs> like yeah. it um it kind of opened my eyes to something I had never I never knew was an option for me and I think at that point I kind of was like okay let's do this since I once I graduated I deferred from Hofstra University and now I'm here yeah. awesome. Now I'm at a school. <laughs> now I'm at a school. Now we're here. <laughs> and, um, talk to me a little bit about uh, songwriting, right? Between mm -hmm. you guys. And also, I know that you're going on tour, and I don't want to ask you like 50 different questions. So just let's wrap it up with like a nice, like, hey, you can catch us here. And But also, like, let me know, because you guys obviously have, a, like, I know you only know each other for a couple of years, but there's definitely, you can feel the chemistry when you're, when you're performing and when you're not. So, Thank you. Um, talk to me a little bit about songwriting and and, um, and where we can see you. Yeah, uh, well, we both, it's really funny, I think we are the yin and yang of each other because we both have completely different methods of doing things. He has this ability to sit down and just pump out songs whenever he wants and I'm the type of person that wakes up at three in the morning with a song stuck in my head and I have to get it down and then I won't write another song for six months and then I piece things together. We. I definitely think our, our Hannah, Hannah, yeah. well, Hannah's a much better songwriter than I am. But like you said, uh, if I don't, if I don't, if a song doesn't come to me in fifteen minutes, I get really lazy and I'm like, ah, uh, on yeah. to the next, and and I'll come with with these great lyrics or, or great melody, and, and we'll sit down and and um, she'll even come when we wrote this first song we played at the water. She was like, I want drums, like and she played the exact drum beat, and you know we sort Just of like that. we basically uh, um, we sort of based it around that and. Um, so that, yeah, we, you know, sometimes I'll come to her with a song and, and sometimes she'll have a fully fleshed out song and we'll just, we'll just put it down and, and, um, we worked with these great produ producers, John White and, um, Rich De Ciccio, Ciccio, and, uh, It's a very Italian yeah, last name. <laughs> rich Italian, and, um, they, he's, he's they a rich help. Italian? Yeah, rich Italian. <laughs> yeah, rich Italian. Um, He'll be so happy about this. say that on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Produced it's by, on his by, business by card. rich yeah. Italian. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they helped uh, shape the songs too. You know, we were, we were shopping around for for producers, and and they really helped. It was really an organic process, and and um, we recorded a lot of the album in, in a week, and um, so we'll work with those guys again. But yeah, we we um, we have a good camaraderie and as um, an old soul, as I like to as I like to say, and and we have a really good relationship, good really good working relationship. So it's fun. I like the the contrast between like the old and the new. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's very contemporary, but it's very like I almost want to set you the sepia when I edit this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? But um and where can we find you on the road? Um yeah. I know you have a gig in New York, right? Yeah, yeah. July thirtieth, we're gonna be at Rockwood, um Rockwood Music Hall, stage two. Uh we're we're gonna we are going on tour um for the West Coast starting late September and yeah, yeah, yeah. We play with a seven-piece band. So at Rockwood Stage Two, I think we're gonna have a backup singer. We have three horns, um, bass, drums, and it's a big party. So awesome. it'll be a fun one. Um, yeah. Well, thank them for showing up today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank really. you guys. Yeah, they're they're yeah. so supportive. You yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, really. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, you <laughs> totally didn't introduce yourself to our. They're behind our the posse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a double-sided yeah. mirror. It is a double-sided mirror. mirror. <laughs> How are we doing? If it's too late, there's no way you would have heard that. That's true. Uh, I think these yeah. jokes are just gold. I think you have a lot to think about when we leave. I don't know what like I'm jokes. doing in life. <laughs> what is the meaning of everything, John? It's not the best. No. Okay. But thank you, guys. And cut. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. All right.